Hey guys, Josie here in Chicago. Just wanted to give you a quick update here on eSync. Uh, last night, I guess at like 2 in the morning or so, I got a order in on, on my eBay store. And it came in through Amazon. And because I have it set as automatic fill, uh, eSync filled the order for me last night and even updated the order number and uh, checked everything out to make sure it was gift receipt, it was paid for, it's good to go. Uh, this is the order right here. Um, so I came in yesterday and there's, there's the eBay um, item that was sold. Uh, they paid $26 for it. The listing came from Amazon. Amazon charged $17.82. Since I am a Prime member, they, they put it in as free shipping. Uh, there's the order number from Amazon, which I'll show you in a minute and my profit of five dollars and thirty two cents now when amazon updates their tracking within thirty seconds the tracking will be updated not only here but it will also be updated on my ebay store so that's one of the nice parts of using e-sync as far as the software is that if you set it up for automatic ordering i believe they charge you like an extra ten cents for them to do it on your behalf but when you start getting a whole bunch of orders back to back to back, and let's say you're out of town, you're sourcing, let's say, only from Amazon for the time that you're out of town, then you don't have to worry about fulfilling, for fulfilling your orders because, as you see, eSync is doing it for you. I'm going to take you over to my Amazon account so you can see that this was filled. So give me a second as we head over there. Okay, here we are over at my Amazon account, and I, I just hid the person's address there just for um, privacy on their behalf. But as you can see, the order was placed uh, April 10th, which was uh, late last night. There's the order number here, which is the same order number that you'll see over on my eSync. Uh, there it was. It was $17.82. Um, and then eSync automatically requested a gift receipt was selected. So if gift receipt is selected, that way it's shipped from Amazon and the people don't know how much you paid for it. All the prices are hidden. So everything was taken care of um, on my behalf while I was sleeping, which is super nice. So there's the order number there, 113. And if you would go over to uh, eSync, there's the order there, 113, and the rest of the order there. So that is one reason why I absolutely love this software if you want to get the software it is totally free there is no monthly fee to be in eSync they only charge you for the listings that you put up of course your listings are going to be limited to whatever you can uh, load up on your eBay store if you're beginning right now and you're starting with eBay it's going to be anywhere between 10 to 50 sometimes they even start you out with 100 if you're a newbie uh, if you've been, if you have a basic store, you can list up to 250 items. Now, I do suggest that if you have a basic store, a premium store, where you can list up to a thousand items, don't load your store with the maximum in one day. What you want to do is you want to load. Let's say you have the basic store on eBay, allows you to list 250 items. You want to list about 15 a day, maybe 20, no more than that. So that it looks as though someone is actually putting up these listings. Uh, it looks good on eBay side. It looks good on your side. Plus the people who come to your store to shop. If they come every couple of days. They see something new every couple of days. You want new stuff constantly going into your store at all times. So that's why every day I list between 5 to 10 items. I just have a basic store right now um, with 250 items. Even though I can list um up to a hundred thousand dollars worth right now uh, let me show you guys that on my ebay store that i'm using this on i've got two stores i'm using this on uh, one is a, a newbie store that i just started and the other one is a store that i've had for a couple of years that i've built up to the limit where i'm at right now which is a couple hundred thousand dollars that i can have on there um but either way i am listing still you know 10 15 items a day 25 items a day um for both stores so just to show that every day i have something new for those who have already bought from me they could come back um i always i always message them and ask them is there anything else they're looking for that i can find for them uh, some people do reply that they're looking for this they're looking for that i go out and look and source it on amazon or walmart and then i put it up and let them know 
uh, I, I got the item you were looking for in case you're still interested. So that's just another way for me to get extra sales. But let me take you over to my eBay store real fast so I can show you how much I am able to list. All right, here I am over at my eBay store. I, I'm not showing you the whole page because I don't want to show my store out right now to anyone. Uh, maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I like to keep my, my store kind of private so no one spiders off of me. <laughs> but as you can see, um, I have a, these are my monthly limits right here. Uh, I can list um, up to 2,100 items. I've had 408 listed and sold so far. Uh, I can list up to 202,500. That's my limit here on eBay. So I have another 170, $172,000 worth of merchandise that I can go ahead and list on here if I wanted to. Uh, and, and you can see I've got a small store. I've listed 134. I've got 116 left. So this is the basic store with just 250 items in it. Um, now I haven't it says here. Now you always want to check here in the promotional offers because eBay will give you different promotional offers here. It says I could get 25% off the final value fees. If I click on this it's going to tell me different items that I can list and if I sell them then um, I can uh, get 25% off the, the final fee that they're going to charge me. And they always give you a start date and an end date. So I can do this up to the 16th, which is uh, five more days because today is the 11th. Uh, and I can use uh, up to 1,000 items doing this. Well, it says 1,000 items, but you can only use what your store is limited to. So it's really 116 that I can uh, list in this category. And when they sell, I get 25% off. Uh, my final fee which is nice and you can see that I do have a basic store subscription with 250 fixed items I also have the list auction that I can list uh, free ones up here uh, 250 of those on top of these um, I don't do auctions that often it's very rare when I do an auction it just takes so much time to do an auction and then you list it and people are bidding and sometimes they don't pay it's just a big hassle I just don't want to deal with it so uh, every now and then if I have stuff at the house that's dragging and it, it's been sitting there for months and months and I can't get rid of it, either through garage sales or Craigslist or something else, then I'll throw it to auction. I'll put a whole bunch together and almost like a mystery box. And uh, I won't say it's a mystery box because that's not allowed anymore on eBay. But I will say a uh, bundle box and just put a whole bunch of different random items on there and put it for auction and that's how I get rid of stuff so another idea you guys can do as well if you got stuff sitting around you can just do a mix and match uh, do mix and max mix, mix and match package bundle uh, list that up and just put everything that's in the box that you're gonna auction off and people will buy it if it's a different thing because then they'll turn around and try to sell it on eBay or Craigslist or yard sale or flea market or somewhere else to make their money uh, nothing wrong with that right everyone's making money so it's all good but this is what I want to show you guys if you're interested in getting into eSync the link to join eSync for free is right underneath this video so go ahead and click on that I'm also gonna put the Chrome app to eSync underneath here the exact link for you to get that it is an application using your Chrome Windows so keep that in mind you have to be in Chrome not in Firefox or IE and I'm also gonna put the number one uh, recommendation for work at home that I'm using that I'm currently generating four dollars per lead that I get in that um, it's kind of very easy system to work uh, there is a little startup for you to get started on there, but uh, it's really worth the money. The training is good, and the people involved in that company are good as well. But just another option if you're looking for something to do at home. My number one home recommendation will be the first link on the bottom of this video. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Um, I'm going to try to list some more stuff this afternoon this afternoon on using eSync uh, maybe with Best Buy or something and if I do I will try to load that up either today or sometime tomorrow have a good day and I'll see you guys on the next video keep listing um, it's, sometimes it takes a while for stuff to sell so don't get discouraged right now springtime is starting to kick off and this is the time when sales start to pick up so if you haven't sold anything yet just be patient keep listing check your titles check your pictures make sure they're all good and um, I'll see you guys on the next listings and I uh, look forward to hearing your sales reports and how eSync is working for you. Talk to you guys later.